Hello, everybody. I am Revigilance, and welcome back to Let's Play Snatcher. Okay, so what city do all these pictures have in common? It's Moscow. This is the city they have in common. That's correct. It's Moscow. Moscow must be where they come from. That must be the basis of their programming. You, you might be right. Just as people have a ho hometown that is dear to them, their creators may have put a hometown into their programming. They use very advanced artificial intelligence systems, so they may have needed something like that to maintain their emotional balance. Yeah, they were born out of nothing, but they needed to give them some kind of image as an emotional base. So Moscow was their creator and their home. And the place they found Jamie and I. In other words, this homing instinct thing of theirs has led them to set up their headquarters in some place that reminds them of home, or their creator. What part of this city is like Moscow? Moscow's really cold, right? They get a lot of snow, don't they? Snow? No snow has been recorded in Neo Kobe in several years. Well, then that's not it. Wait, what about that pollen? That crystal bioengineered stuff, Snow 9? Now that you mention it, wasn't it snowing on Jamie's video phone call? That's right. Their hideout has to be somewhere close to the Ina River. The Ina River flows for miles around here, Gillian. We could never search it all in time. Gillian. Let's look at a map of the areas investigated so far. This is an enlarged view of the southwest portion of the city, around the Ina River. This blue area is that in which Snow 9 is present. Now I'll superimpose a chart of the abandoned tube liner tunnels. From this we can establish those areas with Snow 9, which are accessible by subway tunnel. Damn, nice try, but it's still too large. We could never cover it in three hours. Don't give up so fast, Gillian. What about that image of home thing we were talking about? Maybe there's some kind of geographic similarity. Maybe the same view can be seen or something. I'll display a map of Moscow alongside. Hmm. What's this? Look, the rivers are exactly the same shape. This is the Moscow River over here. It looks like we're on the right track, Metal. Show us the location that Jamie and I were picked up from. All right, right here. Mel, before the catastrophe, what was at this location? The headquarters for the entire Soviet Union, the Kremlin. The Kremlin? That snatcher said something about taking Jamie to their Kremlin. Metal, what spot in Neo Kobe would match up with the location of Moscow's Kremlin? Calculating. This is the spot. It's presently occupied by an old church. It's rather large, but reports indicate it's been abandoned for nearly 20 years. And it's right in the middle of the Snow 9 and Subway area. That's it! That's their headquarters! Their new Kremlin! Gillian, let's go! Wait, Gillian. I want to go with you. Sorry, Mika. Hey, I'm a junker too, you know. I know, and you're a great one at that. So take me with you then. You head to the summit to warn the delegates. They haven't given up, you know. The summit's in Kyoto. I'm not going to be the only one to run. You've got to convince them not to use nukes on Neo Kobe. We found their hideout. There's no need now to sink the whole island. Yes, but... It's a tough job. Can you do it? Okay, Gillian. I'll do what I can. Thanks. Thank you, Mika. Don't say it, okay? Let's go, Gillian. Gillian? Yes? Um... Uh... What's wrong? How about dinner sometime? Dinner? Yeah, you know, dinner. Hmm. Mika. Not interested. I thought it would be nice, you know, to kick back, relax. It's Christmas after all. Christmas, huh? I'll be back by then. Gillian, we have to hurry. That's a promise, right? I heard you. Yeah. Okay. But I gotta go to church first. I'll see you soon then. Okay, Metal, let's go. This is the last turbo cycle. Oh. Let's board the turbo cycle. 
course I know the answer to that question. Let's go to church. I've input the map data on the Kremlin's locations. Lift off. Flight configuration. Now gaining altitude. Jamie, please be safe. Gillian, please keep in mind that we're working with a strict time limit. Fifty-year debt in three hours. Snow! Snow 9, to be specific. We've entered the Snow 9 region. Please put on your breathing filter. Direct inhalation is dangerous. All right. Radio transmissions will also be impossible from this point on. Understood? Now descending. Conversion to hover configuration complete. Gillian, we've arrived. Alright. Let's get going. We've arrived at the church. Wow, now I know why they call it their Kremlin. Look, building. It's a very old church. It bears quite a resemblance to St. Basil's Cathedral. No doubt they thought the same thing. No, don't look at the building again. It's pandered after a traditional Russian church. Okay. Look at snow. It appears to be snow, but it's actually snow nine. Try to avoid inhaling any of it directly. The area is surrounded by a large grove of tall cedar trees. This is likely to keep just about any anyone away. Given the season, a few Christmas lights would really liven up the scene. Okay. Investigate the building. It's about 50 years old, but appears well maintained. So where's the entrance? On the front side of the building. Where you'd expect it. Investigate the snow. It's definitely Snow 9. A sensor scan reveals that a tube liner's tunnel passes directly underneath this area. Well, that's no surprise. Looks like we've got the right place. Uh, investigate. Motion detector. Not reading anything at all. How about listen? The only sound is that of the wind. Well, let's go inside. All right, now opening the door. What's wrong? Won't open? I've scanned it, and it's not locked. It is probably rusted into place. Not surprising. After all, our friends always go in and out through the basement. Let's push it together. All right. One, two, three! That got it. What's this? It would appear to be some kind of a chapel for the Snatchers. Are you telling me those things pray? To whom? No doubt their creator. That portrait on the wall is probably a representation of him. This person is no doubt the, the one who the Snatchers worship as their creator. This guy, isn't that random? It does kind of look like random. One moment, I'll compare the picture with my data on random. While the facial bone structure of the individual in the portrait is nearly identical to that of random, a possible identification is impossible, as the picture is not a photograph. That just looks too much like him to be a coincidence. What about the chairs? They're chairs for worshippers in the chapel, no doubt. So they're probably more like pews. Everything's nice and orderly. It's as if the pre-collapsed Soviet Union has been recreated here. Investigate portrait. Something's written on the painting. The creator, Modnar. So this is Professor Modnar, huh? The one the Snatcher was talking about. It's, it appears to be a portrait of that person. Investigate chair. Number of scratches on the surface. They were almost certainly caused by the Snatchers. Uh, what about the area? It's all very organized, almost inhumanly so. There's another room farther back. Uh, what about listen? The whole area is exceptionally quiet, except for this really creepy music. So they've already left for the summit? Well, let's continue back into that other room next time on Let's Play Snatcher.
Goodbye. <laughs>